best video game of all time? So far. So far, yeah. God of War. Uh, played good 20 minutes of it. Uh, uh, yeah, I played more. Yeah, and from what we see so far, it's it's really, really good. Uh, if you want to check out our walkthroughs of it, you can head over to uh, 8 Stage or my channel to watch two different versions of it. Um, yeah. Fish plays on Twitch, I play on YouTube. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you want, if you like what you hear, support the podcast. Um, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, merchandise. Yeah, shop.galamatar.com. Pick up tea on Teespring. Uh, we got God of War teas out now. No, we don't. No, we no, we don't. That's just no, a we, joke. Don't, we don't have the we, we don't have the rights for that. We can't <laughs> we can't do that. But um, yeah, so right. here we go. Two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. <laughs> <laughs> I was, how is that? How's that Kratos impression? Is pretty uh, good. Sure, I'll give. We're episode forty-eight, boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So, uh-huh. uh, we are back with another. A uh, little rewind. We are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. This is episode forty-eight. Uh, we're gonna try some. New, not even try something new. We're just gonna do it because the game was so amazing that we had to devote an entire episode to God of War. Mm-hmm. God of War. I was going to say like four, but I'm like, I don't even think it's... There's no number. It's just called God of War. Yeah. Was the original called The God of War? So uh, they just dropped the The? I, I think it was just... I don't know. Uh, maybe it's still... No, no, no. No. Just God of War as well. Oh, really? So it's just like... They, sh- they didn't care. It's like we're... It's a new iteration, franchise. right? It's a new new story for them. So Wait, quick, quick side note. start from the beginning. Kind quick, of. quick side note. You know Ocean's Eleven? Mm-hmm. They had 11, 12, 13, right? Yeah. Ocean's 8 is coming out. Oh. 8, 9, 10. Is that right? No, no, no. Think about it. Why would they start with 8? Because they want a three-episode franchise. Yeah. Yeah, just like um, God of War, which had God of War 1, 2, and 3. That was the main ones. There was also Ascension, then there's two PS. Oh, yeah, you, games. You, you'd know about these ones. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Yeah. So, uh, so these, this, <laughs> if you listen to it, uh, it's well, you've probably seen from the title screen it's a um uh first impressions uh we were thinking about like making it like a like a review but technically it's not a review because we didn't beat the game we're like in progress so you can watch both of our walkthroughs um online on youtube vish does his through twitch and then uploads them to youtube i or like it's not an upload what do you it's like a transfer export Export them to youtube and then i do uh straight youtube because there's no block on the songs you gotta fix that yeah well anyways so uh what can you do so first impressions let's do it like a movie we'll do a score and we'll talk about it can we really give it a score though no for our first impressions what's our first impression score uh, all right okay I like mean, you know what i mean it's like because like what, what if we get another game because i'm assuming we're gonna do more of these right if we get like that two-player game and then we talk about it and then we're like oh it's right. a five we're so i was back. okay so we'll you know have I mean? to add the word like currently currently yeah of course yeah, yeah. so yeah. our current score is what's yours uh i think i agree with the reviewers right now perfect for me oh very nice i'm gonna give it 11 out of 10 okay that's uh, <laughs> again you've always above, been doing this i know i know <laughs> every it's, time. It's, it's only it's only the ones that really like stand out to me I see. Yeah, like a 10 out of 10's like, all right, this game's sick, but like this right. this game is revolutionary. Okay. You know what I mean? It's okay. like it's like if I played the first or uh Uncharted 2, I would have given it an 11, right? But now mm-hmm. I give Uncharted 2 like maybe an 8 out of 10, 10 out of 10 maybe, you know? Oh shit, okay. Yeah, because because like it's progressed through time, right? Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. at this current moment in time I give it an 11 out of 10. But mm-hmm. then some game's going to copy it and be even better and I'll be like, "Okay, God of War was actually more like a <laughs> 9 out of 10." Right. You know what I mean? Interesting. Um, that's just how I do it. I don't know. It's weird. But uh, yeah. so, so yeah, some cool things about this game. Like, what did you really like? Um, it's been a long time, right? I, I, I've loved the God of War. Oh, yeah. You love the God of War. Yeah. I hated God of War. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's 11 out of 10. Like, for me, to say 11 out of 10, <laughs> right. God of War is, like, <laughs> monumental. Right, I right. So hate it. Just we got to understand the backstory there. Yeah, right? okay. Of our... Yeah, yeah, let's talk about the origin stories of your God of War. Because so, you used to make me, like, watch it. I'd watch the cinematics. So there's two things. 
I liked about it. Okay. What would you right. like about it? First of all, I love the Greek mythology where they first started off. No, no, no let's, let's start with the – Like the oh, things yeah, I yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right? Because yeah, I like Greek North mythology North. and I don't really care about – at that time, like intricate fighting. Like that – like button, right, you right. know what I mean? Uh, I'd rather button mash is what I always did. Exactly. And, and <laughs> contrast to me, I didn't care about mythology at all, which is weird because I'm obsessed with it now. Right. And like – um, I I only like games like Tekken, where mm-hmm. it's like the game the controls had to be super intricate. Yeah, you know, like Tekken's like left punch, right punch, left kick, right kick, something mm-hmm. like that. You know. Yeah. So like I, that for me is um, you hear that siren coming to get us. Uh, that is true. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so you like the simplicity and the the fact that it was Greek mythology. Yeah. I did not care for Greek mythology and I liked com- complex games because I was a heavy gamer back in the day. Right. You know. It's funny because like it's funny because we totally switched like <laughs> back in the day I was upset like we, you'd be like hey want to play outside and be like yeah in, in five minutes. Five minutes would be like two hours later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, right? that was a you guys get so pissed all the time. I'd be like yeah sorry I was just customizing my character in soccer. You know? <laughs> I, 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 so I love the Ready Player One because it brought me back. Yeah, I was yeah, like dude yeah, I yeah, did right. all those things. Right, right. Where he's like don't spend all your money. I always spent all my money in yeah. the games. Um, and then like uh, for you you didn't really have a con. You had the PC, and yours was Midtown Madness. Yeah, I, I did yeah. have. See, that was an interesting thing. My first games were on PC. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, then, yeah, 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 for uh, sure. Then switched over to console. Yep. And then now I don't. I don't even own a console. Like the one I play with, and my sisters, <laughs> and uh, I also use yours. Yeah. But like, I don't know. It's it's weird how like it kind of just died out for me. Video mm-hmm. games. But I remember when though it died out for me. It's when I was playing. Um, I think I was like playing Sims and it was like university and I realized like why am I making my video game character so sick right when I can be just so sick <laughs> you know but then like I got I back I got back into video games because of like the uh, fantasy aspect of it mm-hmm. I started appreciating like more of the stories yeah. so I only play story games now right yeah although the online world I remember I was telling GTA 5 when I was traveling for the five months mm-hmm. I would just like I would like be addicted it's weird how that happens you become so addicted to it and I was like man I actually miss my GTA 5 character <laughs> right now I miss the fake apartment and the fake world oh my gosh going I know right. it was crazy yeah so like <laughs> I, I totally empathize with Ready Player One that's probably why it was my favorite right. anyway so you're saying about why you like God of War yeah it's just I because they added a whole new like involving all the God of uh, Greek gods mm-hmm, yeah. into the story and mixing it in with the new character like Kratos and yeah. creating a whole mythology. So for let, him. let's give like a spoiler alert and um, tell. Sure. So like, what's what's the whole story? So you, so the first there's three, the first game was uh, his path of vengeance against to get to kill Ares. Yeah, which is interesting because like you hear God of War and like in Greek mythology, God of War is Ares. Yeah. But when you play the game, I assumed the God of War was Kratos. You're playing it. I know. I, th- I assumed like they're at creating this, a whole yeah, yeah. story. Yeah, exactly. At this point, and then until you explain it to me, how it's like, no, no, he kills the God of War and becomes the God of War. Yeah, that he becomes. He then there's no more. He kills Ares. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's Zeus that appoints him as put it in the position of becoming the god of war right exactly yeah. Yeah, you have to fill the spot yeah. so uh, and then that will happen so then the other two games were uh, the fir- so the second game he finds out that Zeus is like he hates doing this whole god stuff okay. and like creating wars and then at the same point he found out that Zeus is his half well, is his father Oh, like no he's way. a demigod like Hercules. Oh no way! Yeah. Oh, that's sick. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's mm, kind of cool. So that was the surprising. So that was surprising near the end of God of War. The third game is you go through the whole thing and kill Zeus, kill everything, anything related to Greek hmm. mythology. That's kind of cool. Okay. And then, uh, basically, the new game, mm-hmm. he's got a kid, a son. Where, what about the third one? What happens to the third one? Well, the third one is where he kills Zeus. And okay. he destroys all of Greek mythology. And number two was? When he finds out that he's the, the, the son. son of like Zeus. he's oh. actually half god. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't remember the full exact things because there's so many mm. things in between. But For like sure. the, the premise where the third one, which I heard was kind of interesting because he has a son now that. Fourth one. Sorry, the fourth one. Yeah. Yeah. 
The newest. It's one. not. Yeah, this is called God of War. It's not really a fourth one. Mm. That because is the same curse still going to happen, or is he trying to change himself? So like, his son doesn't kill him. So it's, yeah, right. like uh, yeah, that, those are the things they're trying to bring up. But like, but then you're now you're in a new lore. You're going through Norse mythology, which is yeah, that, which I, is and that's really cool. Yeah, which is really cool too. Yeah. I personally don't know too much about me Norse neither. Mythology. Me neither. Yeah. So. So one thing that I liked about the games is uh, this game, like the whole premise behind the whole, the series is like the educational component. Yeah. Like I like that um, they're educating you on mythology, mm-hmm. you know, uh, because mythology, like I kind of see it like this, like why were gods and mythology invented? We were trying to personify our human characteristics, like greed, yeah. lust, all those things, yeah, yeah. you know, and we needed to feel like there was some powerful being that was like manipulating and controlling these things, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why I like learning about mythology, and it's cool to see like one of the first Norse um, transitions, aside from like Thor, the TV, the movie series. Yeah, you know, um, from the, yeah the Marvel series. Yeah. The Marvel series, yeah. So like it's it's cool that now we're gonna see like who exactly are the Norse legend people. Yeah. In the game. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, so. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, instrumentally, not instrumentally, like mechanic-wise. So mechanic oh yeah, wise, now the mechanic-wise yeah, is all changed too. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah, it's a whole like for the fighting bit is mm-hmm. changed to the button-wise. More my what style. What do you feel? Yeah. Uh, so like, I actually like. So <laughs> when we played the first uh, God of War, like you had me playing it, and I was like, eh, I don't like button mashers, right? Right. So you get kind of bored. And then when you play this one, it's like, no, it's like Tekken now. Like, I have a whole plethora of, like, options. Yeah, yeah. I have, uh, I have speedy attack, uh, light attack. A strong attack, light. Yeah, block, yeah. dodge, throw my axe, recall oh, my axe. that is one of the best things. Yeah, and, and here's, here's one thing that I didn't even expect. So, like, when, in the beginning of the game, there's, like, an ice person. So I I, right. I literally spent and if you're watching my uh, <laughs> my stream I'm so sorry about that because I didn't know what to do so I was like do I need environmental do I gotta walk them towards the fire so I like I made them walk oh towards my the fire God. and wow. I threw you're, it you're, and, and then you, and the only reason why it it worked is because I had thrown my axe and I forgot to recall it <laughs> and I pressed the button and his life went down I was like oh oh i get it you're not supposed to use your axe like i didn't know you could actually fight without that oh yes yeah, yeah see, i yeah. didn't know that i thought yeah. it was like only bring axe. out the brawl too which is locked brawl cool too. exactly yeah. and and then that's see like there's so many options in this game and i heard it just gets more and more intricate as you go along yeah you can add certain like runic stones to give you more abilities see that's like that. sick yeah um what i haven't faced yet in the game is like which will probably be like in our ending review or whatever mm-hmm. um like leveling up you can do leveling up in a good way or a bad way it's like some games like uh um last of us their leveling up system actually was was good for me because it was like okay what what weapon do i want to enhance right right but like if i play final fantasy 15 i didn't really like the leveling up system because it was just like it was too too many options too many options you know and it's like it's like okay you can you can upgrade their dash you could upgrade their magic casting ability. You can upgrade their weapon draw skill. You know what I mean? It's like it's like okay. I just need like with the with the uh, Last of Us. It's like, do you want to make this gun faster? So you just right. cho- you just upgraded the guns that you always used. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? But it's like now when you upgrade other things, it's like, well, I'm never going to use that. So uh-huh. you know what I mean? Like, right. so we have to see how they tackle the upgrade system. Is it like okay? I use a lot of like hand to hand, so maybe I'll just upgrade my hand to hand power. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or is it like, no, it's a, a new move you can unlock, and I'm like, oh, man. I'm still learning yeah, it because there's, there's different unlocks. things to... Don't spoil that for me. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So but that's, that's what there's I'm... Still, there's still... There's, I think you can use your XP points. I, there's different things, so... Okay, to, cool. You can add different moves. And, and I heard that uh, a lot of people, when they beat the game, which I'm pretty stoked about, is uh, they kept playing the game afterwards, which me, which alludes to the fact that you have an open world when it's done. Uh, I mean, it is all open world now too. Like you is have it the option. Linearly open, or like how? What do you mean? Like it's you like don't have to do it. 
You can do the full story, then go around. Oh, okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, can yeah. do that. Okay, cool. Because yeah. it would be it would be a shame to like have this story end and then like you could never access the world again. Because no, yeah, cause yeah that, that would be. It, that's one of the things that I really liked. Like, it's funny how in our age of like progressing towards, like we all want, we all long for a simpler time, but mm-hmm. nobody wants to actually live in that simpler time. Right. We all want our iPhones and video games and stuff, <laughs> right? But it's cool to jump into that time period yeah. where like you're seeing people um like hunt things or like mm-hmm. build their own houses mm-hmm. right it remind me of assassin's creed 3 right right because in assassin's creed 3 you got to be like the native right and then in this you're like kind of like being a native because you're kratos mm-hmm. and like and his son and you guys are living in the forest and stuff <laughs> you gotta hunt that's kind of cool i like that stuff why well, okay yeah oh why it changes no that was just more of no no i no no but i mean the lo- thing, the, right? no no but the feel of it Oh, oh, like yeah. like it's like oh I'm back in that time a simpler time so right. like it would be a shame to like you beat the game and you could never access the world again because the oh, world's okay. so yeah. cool yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. like you run through the forest and stuff I like, mean there's a lot of awesome. uh, you know puzzles or things to find I guess that's what they wanted you to do yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and I was seeing that if you unlock the puzzle it tells you something about Norse mythology yes there is a lot of lore uh, built into the game built into the Hidden. game uh, there are you can like uh, what do you call um, scenes where they're talking mm-hmm. and there you learn a little bit more about certain creatures in the world wait wait I just made a click he's in Midgard right at this point yes isn't Midgard Earth I believe it is yeah oh that's so cool because they're like <laughs> like uh, they're, they're, they're like oh I'm hiding in Midgard or something in the beginning of the game yeah. well I don't think he goes to another realm he doesn't know oh, that oh okay okay see I thought I thought it's it just like Asgard a, I, I, I think like, it's mm. their word Asgard is another realm. Yeah, right? exactly. What I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, I didn't realize like Midgard is Earth because that's where that's where he's stationed. Mm-hmm. Right? He's like, yeah, but it's yeah. a specific place where he's at, right? Where they yeah, believe yeah, yeah. in Norse mythology and all that. So, um, or, game or mechanics or wise or like cinematic wise. So another thing is that they brought in is uh, I think we're about to say the exact same thing. Yeah, no cuts in this. Game. Yes, that is exactly what I was going to talk about. That. Freaking! <laughs> See, I when I heard about it, I remember when I first told you, like, wait, what? No cuts? Yeah. Right? You're like, you're like incredulous. Oh, right? I was like, how does that work? How does that? Work? Yeah, exactly. Because everything you know exactly. has, cuts. has cuts. Every single good game that I know. And then when when I played it, it like it was like brilliantly done. <laughs> that, like they're saying that because there's no cuts, it makes you empathize more with the character. And I was like, how does that work? <laughs> like, I don't really get it. But you get it when you're playing because yeah. it's like you feel like you're them yeah. because you're just seeing everything. There's no, like, break... There's no, like, disillusionment of, a, like, a third wall or, like, a, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, it's like no, you are this character for this whole game. That's right. why you're not... But it's made me wonder, like, how do you film that, yeah? You gotta film long takes yeah, then. Yeah, that's the thing. You you watch the thing where they had... No, I didn't see. Or, like, there were contemplating between having it or not having it oh yeah yeah, yeah. like uh, there was like a bunch of hiccups and he was like oh is this game worth it like can we can we actually do what we accomplish we and will people it? like it right yeah, will people like it yeah i think it's a great testament to oh, show this so revolutionary i think it's really good like this is this when you play this game like they were saying in some reviews that this is this could be the game of the generation mm-hmm. i agree right because like the way that this game is made it's like this is what you'd expect from a video game the whole no cut thing is like brilliant the acting is amazing the detail is crazy you can see like the pores on his skin right right and like um and the fighting is like (laughs) wow like it's like pretty brutal it's it's brutal yeah but all god of war games have been like really brutal. has been yeah that's why i like it too because you're bringing in things that were i don't remember from the past yeah, like, yeah, yeah like there's been a long time since there was a god of war right oh for sure for sure so yeah. but it's almost like this set the standard where like if if games aren't like this game you're just gonna be sorely disappointed like beyond beyond no what was the chicago one? Oh, you're talking about oh the oh yeah um Detroit Become Human. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah. That's one. Yeah, yeah. Well, they will. They won't. They've already been in, in. No, no, for sure, for sure. But if that game is not at the level of detail of this game, dang. Because oh, the, detail. Oh yeah. Oh man, the detail. I mean, this, this is a PS4 like, game. This exactly, is not a PC game. Exactly. And this game is like, like, oh, I don't know. You just have to see it. 
Yeah. Because, like, the visuals are so stunning and so intricate. That's what got me. Yeah. Right. So um, we got up to essentially the same point in the game together. Like, I played a little ahead so I can catch up to you where uh, you fight the first god. Yeah. So they the, don't per se god, but he do, it seems like he's a god, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 So um, my assumption is is Loki because of the way he was like acting very foolish and stuff, and he said he was sent by Odin. Yeah. And uh, he said he was talking about his brother. He's like, I'm not my brother. So mm-hmm. it's like, okay, your brother's probably Just little hints here and there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's got to be Loki. So what? But I, I was I was like when I first saw that was that's like oh my god when you're when fighting you, it it was oh it's so brilliantly done. The, and the, the camera too again. The and camera's the, still staying with you. And, the whole and you way. stay. You were scared of Loki. Yeah. Like when he was like, "Well, we think it's Loki." We think it's Loki. And you were scared of him because like he he had like this power that like when you'd knock his life down, he just regenerated himself. And he's like, "the the trick is I don't actually feel anything you're throwing." <laughs> right. 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 So one thing that I was thinking is like I assume. No, I don't assume. But like, mm-hmm. if you follow the logic, right? If you kill a god, you get their powers. Um, that was all part of the, all the old games, right? Uh, yeah, but that's just probably a mechanic thing. I don't think that's necessarily. Uh, no, no, because because I saw I saw it also in trailers like there are consequences to killing, killing a, a god, god, right? Yeah, but uh, he's talking about what happened in his past games. Oh, okay. Well, what what I was you, wondering, I think that's for yeah, if, if, if they it. if they hold on to that whole thing where if you kill a god, you get his powers. Um, I was wondering, like maybe Loki wanted himself to die. So that he get he can right. fuse with Kratos, mm-hmm. you know. I I don't know. Because like, we, we, like, so. you know, like we, oh, right. you, are you still like um, you have any theories of that? Like, what? Why is he here? Why is he here? Yeah. yeah. Who? Kratos or Loki? Loki. Uh, or do they get into that later? Uh, well, I haven't gone into that yet. Oh, okay. So then, yeah. Been to, in, in it so why while. why do you think like who do you, no actually better question who's his wife? I think we have to learn more about that. Too. You know what I mean? It's like he was saying like I can't do this without you and like. And like when they came, and then when she died, his, yeah. her son's like, "How come all the demons it, it, are coming after us the, now?" The thing also what's as different is here, Kratos, before pure rage. Yeah, he's got some. There's good emotion emotional parts. Yeah, right I was about here. to say, like when uh, when they got back to camp, and yeah. then he told his son to go inside to like do something, mm-hmm. and then he was like just looking at the the, the ashes when he's scooping them up yeah he's like staring at them he's thinking about her i was like oh my goodness <laughs> kratos i don't know you anymore yeah. yeah right it's like very emotional scenes yeah there's lots has changed i don't know how many years has gone by but it has been a quite a lot i think mm. i mean to have a kid that's quite old quite like uh, he's like 13 maybe. yeah and he's showing some of those rage yeah, yeah, qualities yeah. right in the beginning of the game. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And he's trying to teach him to control it mm-hmm. because he saw what it did to him, the whole bloodlust. Yeah, true, exactly, exactly. Any any assumptions? Any assumptions over uh, what might happen? Uh, I don't know. I just want to see... Or are you looking forward to anything? I'm just... Like, I want to see if, if it's low-key. I want to right, see if there's right. other gods you're going to meet. Cause, right. uh, and there's a lot of things. I already learned a few things about Norse mythology, the world serpent, like these kinds of... What's the world serpent? Uh, the creature that is there. It's a really old, ancient creature. Okay. And he fought. Like, they talk about it. Like, this is not new. If you know the mythology, you'll know this. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Like, it- who he had fought. Like, that's what the... Because Atreus knows the kid knows the, uh what he's been taught from his mom right the, the stories and everything right right and so right. he's teaching kratos oh that's kind of cool right nice 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 so do you, do you think uh um do you think actually no yeah no um uh, what, what what is your favorite part of uh the the game so far uh, I think it's w- what I'm enjoying is th- is I think it has more of a story in this one, like okay. a fully developed story. Mm-hmm. It seems right versus the other Kratos. Other ones were quite simple. Right. They weren't. They didn't need to be really developed. It was right. more action oriented and all that stuff. So, mm. 
uh, this one's got like full on the characters were had mocap like yeah. full like Uncharted style. I, I heard that like if you're if you're a fan of, um, it's like it beats every all of your past favorite games like Uncharted. <laughs> like, you know, it's like it's got every element of all the greatest ones that you right, loved. Right. You know, yeah. uh, the the uh, Last of Us, the bonding between the fa- father and son is just like Ellie and Joel. Yeah. Uh, At a more so there's like the the uses of Atreus is is a lot more than with Ellie yeah, exactly right? exactly because yeah. you had no control over Ellie but now you can tell him to like shoot stuff shoot arrows or like yeah yeah use yeah. them in combat yeah for sure in for a way sure. that you want to and and then it's got like Uncharted's level of story mm-hmm. where it's like the like the emotional component and all that right um, and yeah like the mechanics are very fluid better than any game I've experienced thus far. <laughs> um, are you... Do you think that they're going to release another one of those behind-the-scenes things? So, show- one of the, yeah, I'm hoping, but I don't know. Like, because in the first game, when you finish the game, yeah. you unlock the whole behind-the-scenes. And that was, that was the first thing like you showed it to me, and that was the first time I'd ever seen anybody anything like that we're like that's what it's like when they create the games and i that's what got me into wanting to work for like a game company mm-hmm. you know like the dream of working for it right because it was like it's like it looks so fun <laughs> you know and then they're interviewing the guy like what are you gonna do now and he's like i'm gonna go for like a long vacation before i start my next game and it's like oh you guys work project wise it's like yeah a it's, it's a long game it, it, it's not like a year it's five years in the process exactly right? yeah, yeah so that's a long time to uh, like you're spending all your days there for like sure yeah for sure done. for sure especially yeah. near the end too more crunch time okay. yeah but that was like a I think that was like it's like yeah really long I mean, those like three the, year interval you, or yeah you, you have to go through those things to figure out what works right yeah for sure for sure yeah you don't really know the end product until so quite near the end I think. would you say best game you've ever played so far uh yeah yeah, I'd say that I, too. I, I would have to say that. Yeah, of course. It's very engrossing. It's one of those games that like you you genuinely enjoy playing. Like Uncharted was really good too, but there are a couple parts where I'm like, oh, I just want to get through the story. You know what <laughs> I mean? But like this one, it's like, no, I like the story plus I like. Well, you've only gone so some so far into it, right? Mm, that's true too. Yeah, that's so true it too. Might change. But it, it's like, but even in un, like um, Uncharted two. Even in the beginning, you're like when he's going through the tunnels. Remember, aren't you? Uh-huh. They're trying to break in. in oh the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that part was kind of dragging because you're like, oh, okay, I guess all this puzzle now and like all that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I'm, I'm wondering if the puzzles later on in the game are very like uh, logical and they make sense, not just like, okay, this is so intricate. And I have to, I have to figure out what the game person is trying to get me to do versus mm-hmm. what. I think should happen in the game. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like so like good examples like when they're breaking in and they're like we have to disarm the the um the alarm system uh-huh. in Uncharted 2. Mm-hmm. So you have to follow the red wire all the way and then you open the lever and then you like just pull it down. That was more like the gamer the game designers wanted me to do something. Right. Right? But like I wonder if it's going to be like more logical. It's like no, I have to do this in order to progress to the next spot. Like um like if there's a big tree in the way and I have to hack it down or like like the one where you have to pull the pull the chain and then the door opens and then you throw your axe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a logical one. It's not that's a logical puzzle. It's not like the other ones. You know what I'm saying? It right. doesn't feel well, like Well, let's see what you think. Okay. In. It changes? Uh I don't know. I mean I've enjoyed everything of it, so Okay. That's I cool. don't know. You might have a different opinion. It might change. Nice. So Because um, it's still a long way to go, I think. Oh, but I'm doing all sorts of things, right? I'm going on the side. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to play the game. Yeah, I'm un- I'm unlocking chests, but those take time. For sure, for sure. I just want straight story. I just yeah. want to know what happens. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to figure out uh, how to unlock chests and stuff, go check out Vicious Straight Story. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, God of War had puzzles too, even in the old games. No, of course, of course. But like, I'm not going to go out of my way to. But I, there was the the many people were saying it's not that. Heart. The puzzles? Yeah. Oh, so then it might be... Might be... Just, it might be like what yeah. I was saying where it's like, yeah. it's just a logical thing. It's like, I have to do this. Right. Versus I think like, Atreus... Like, there'll be hints. Quick yeah, hints okay, From cool. Atreus. Okay, cool. That sort of things, yeah. Okay. Well, no, he didn't He didn't give me a hint about the 
the boss where I did not use my axe. Uh, All he said was, it's not working. And I was like, I think that was the hint. I know it's not working. I think that was the hint. (laughs) True. But I was like, I didn't know that I could fight. Well, there's, there is one where you got to go through a passage that you need to like figure out the puzzle, but it's pretty simple. Okay. Well, we'll see. Yeah. So, uh, final thoughts. Uh, if you're not watching our stream, go buy it or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Watch it. (laughs) Or yeah, preferably watching it, but yeah. Um, Support it as well. Yeah, support as well. I think that this game is going to make all other video game designers quake in their boots. Because now they know what they have to yeah. and, level and, up yeah. to. Sony's still got a lot more to come. Right? Oh, yeah, true, true, true. They as, got Spider-Man. As, as, yeah, the, I think it's next month or the month after is the the Detroit Become Human one. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, so cool. that's not that far away. Well, what's that prison one? That's a, a prison one, it's not a Sony... Uh, exclusive, the oh, where you okay. play two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's not a Sony exclusive. Is that's, it out, that's, is it out already? that's already out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we'll probably go through that one time. I went to on sale. We'll buy it or something. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not like a God of War where you gotta get it right away. Yeah. No. Yeah, and then okay. and then yeah, later this year is Spider Man. So there's a lot going on for Sony. Cool. Yeah. It's so. very exciting. I heard uh, the Spider Man one is uh, is like the web slinging. Sometimes you just want to do it to uh-huh. like relax because it's so good. Okay. Like the mechanics. Right? That, yeah, the mechanics <laughs> that they did. It's not like because there's like oh he's been Spider-Man for eight years now. There's going to be no clunkiness when you do the web swinging. Mm-hmm. Like in the old games, like if you hit the wall, you're you're stuck, right? Right. But in this one, it's like if you hit the wall, you start running up the wall. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Right? Yeah. yeah that. So that that should be really cool. I want to see how that works. Yeah. This will be a pretty good year for Sony, I think. For sure, for sure. So final scores of... Uh, um, perfect, man. Perfect. Everything is perfect for me. Nice. And I'm still at my... 11. 11. I almost want to say 12. 12 out of 10. Because <laughs> it's, it's like literally from this point forward, if no game meets the bar of this, we'll all be looking uh, yeah, back and like, yeah. man, it's not God of War though. Right. You know what I mean? It's going to be like, man, this game's so sick. Yeah, but it's not God of War. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, there's so much that he's done that they've done that is gonna change yeah, for other games. For to, sure. I think to, I think to reach. I think the single shot cinematic alone yeah. it like already changes it. Mm-hmm. That's just mind blowing. Yeah, and that's yeah. yeah, that's true. So definitely pick it up if you haven't yet. It's worth every penny. You will be playing for oh it's a twenty five hour game or something? Uh, something like that. I think if you go everywhere, like a full 35 hours or so. Yeah, but you'll love every single yeah. second of it. Yeah. Like we did. Yeah. yeah. If even, you want to know more, like, Norse mythology, too, you'll quite learn quite a lot in here. For sure. And even the transitions between scenes, it's, like, seamless, too. Well, because it's a single-shot camera, so... Yeah. Like, the levels, mm-hmm. you know? It's, like, you don't notice it. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So... What we got next week? We got Avengers. Oh, yeah, Avengers, right. Yeah, and then the week after that, is there any other movie? Not on my radar yet. Okay, so expect, right. expect an Avengers podcast next week, and then maybe we'll be back to our weekly roundups the week after. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Oh, quick side note. Um, I know it's not a weekly roundup, but I just want to put it out there. Kevin Hart, amazing. <laughs> like, when saw him yesterday, amazing. The reason why is because, like, it like it made me realize the level of practice makes perfect right like if you keep crushing it you're going to create a diamond you know he's put in so much work into his craft that like when you see it it's just like a polished gem and like i feel like that's anyone can do that Mm -hmm. you just have to have the discipline enough to keep practicing right and not become disenchanted Hmm. just like the creators of this game polished gem Oh, yeah. Yeah. So until next time, take it easy. Peace. Buy the game. Yes. Kratos says buy the game.